In this video I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic inequality using the graphing method and first we're going to rewrite the inequality in the form that we have uh, expression on the left side and on the right side we have only zero. And the idea behind this method is that we consider a function that is defined by the expression on the left hand side of the inequality and we going to solve graphically the following inequality uh, which means we're looking for the values of x for which the graph of f of x is below the x-axis and to find such values we have to first determine the x-intercepts meaning we have to solve the corresponding equation uh, which is the same as just setting the function equal to zero uh, this time we can try and factor this one so 2x minus 3 x plus 4 seems to work and the following are the x-intercepts and the difference between this method and the test points method is that now we still plot the points where the function is equal to zero but instead of picking a point from each interval and testing the inequality which is going to imagine the graph of f of x and see how it positions itself with respect to the x-axis and it's easy to see that f of x is a quadratic function with the positive leading coefficient meaning its graph will be a parabola opening up and the fact that it has two x-intercepts means it's going to look something like this Once you imagine the parabola accounting for the direction in which it opens and the number of x-intercepts, now we can look at the inequality and answer the question. For which values of x the function dips below the x-axis? And the, the answer is pretty clear from the picture is for all the values between negative 4 and 3 halves. Do we include the boundaries? Uh, no for strict inequalities and yes for non-strict. In this case we have a strict inequality so we do not include the boundaries. So this is how you solve a quadratic inequality using the graphing method.